Bowfield, Lauren Helbrecht, Local 5 Sports. We thank you, Lauren. Okay, the excitement continues to build in Detroit. That is ahead of tomorrow's NFL draft. Alec Janakopoulos is live in Detroit with that side of the story. Hello, Alec. Uh, Green Bay organizers, they're already making public safety plans for next year here. How's Detroit handling it? Detroit's handling it well, and I think we can see something very similar to Green Bay, especially on the weather front. If you guys can see me, it's not a warm one. So fans in Green Bay who are excited for next season, don't just assume it's going to be warm because we're having a draft here late in April, and you guys know that all too well in Green Bay, but also expect a lot of traffic. Here in Detroit, they're expecting upward of 400,000 fans to make their way to the Motor City to take part in this weekend. And there's going to be a lot for them to do both here and across the lake. There's NFL draft fan experiences where they can run through drills, look at the Lombardi trophies and Super Bowl rings, and bars and restaurants throughout Detroit are doing what they can to keep all of those people happy as they spend their time here in Detroit and also expect a bit of traffic here. I mean, this is the biggest artery behind me in Detroit. It's locked down so fans can get the most of the draft day experience. And one more thing you have to expect if you're going to make your way out to Green Bay for the draft in 25, a lot of different colors. We're watching different people from different cities with their Bears and 49ers and Cowboys hats walking up and down taking in the city. So it's going to be a very special year next year as the country gets to experience what makes Green Bay so special. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Alec Janikopoulos.